Hey guys, welcome to this DVD update in which I have 35 DVDs. A lot of DVDs, so I won't be talking much about it, but I will be showing them as quickly as I can. Um, one, one is a television show, Ghost Hunter Season 2 Part 1, and that's the only television show. The rest are just movies. Um, I try to get all the Bram Stoker movies I can find. This one was Bram Stoker's Dracula with the nice slip cover. Although I already have this, the super bit. Here's my old copy of super bit with the, uh, with the slip cover there. So this is my old copy, this is my new copy. So I have two different copies now. But the reason why I got that is because I bought, I think it was this one I looked for and it came in a lot. So I got this, basically I paid for this because it was the cheapest one on eBay just so happens to come with uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. So I got this, Bram Stoker's The Mummy. A nice green cover, I mean a uh, case to that. And Bram Stoker's Shadow Builder. So that's all the Bram Stoker titled movies that I can find. I used to have Shadow Builder and The Mummy on VHS as well. I think I still have uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula on VHS. Anyways, moving on, I have Green Lantern from my DC collection. The original green case with it. And uh, Diamond Hunters. I never heard of this movie before. This is a screener. It says on bottom, screener, not for resale. I never heard of this one. So, Alyssa Milano's in it, obviously. She's on the cover. My next one up, Walden. Another one I haven't seen. And Asylum Days. This one's still factory sealed. Don't know much about this. I'm buying some horror movies that it... Are they're blind buys? I've never seen them before. Black Cat. This looks really interesting. I'm looking forward to watching the Black Cat one, though. This one I have seen. Dementia 13. I have the VHS. I haven't seen this DVD, but I did watch, watch my copy on VHS. I liked it, so I buy the DVD. I don't know if they made Blu-ray of that or not. They probably did by now. The Rage. They they also made uh, The Rage unrated. So that, that would be the one to get. But um, this was the cheapest one on eBay. So I grabbed this one here. And Sublime unrated with the slip cover. And North Country. I seen a uh, Spy Cats video, one of his older videos. He was talking about North Country, and uh, made me want to get it and buy, you know watch it. So, really, that's the only reason I, I actually looked this up on uh, eBay, bought it from there. Was it for uh, Spy Cat? I wouldn't even have known about that movie. Next up, Dean Cain's Boa. So I got a bunch of Dean Cain movies in this update. This is Boa. I was in the mood to buy some Dean Cain movies. I don't know. So, Dark Descent, again, Dean Cain. He doesn't, Dean Cain, he doesn't make, you know, fantastic movies. But he does. I was looking out, out my window, someone suspicious out there. He, do, he makes okay movies, like uh, sci-fi type of movies you'll see on Sci-Fi Channel, like this here, for instance. Dragon Fighter, another Dean Kang movie. Next up, The Encounter. This looks like it's uh, faded, like like the color is faded from it. I didn't know. I bought it, but on, on uh, eBay, it's real cheap. Fire Trap. This, for some reason, is going it's going um, more expensive than I would like to buy. About fifteen bucks. I found this for I think it was like seven, six or seven bucks, which was it was the cheapest. I did already know about this, but I didn't want to pay fifteen bucks for it. I can always always replace the case, so 
that's no no big deal. Another Dean Kane movie, Phase Four. Yeah, like I said, a bunch of Dean Kane movies. And finally, we got Ernest Saves Christmas. We're off of Dean Kane now. Ernest Saves Christmas. Uh, this is probably my top five favorite Christmas movies right here. I, I like that one a lot. I used to watch that when it was airing on television. Next up from, from my Van Damme collection, or Dolph Lundgren collection, Universal Soldier, the special edition. I don't know why it's so special. Uh, oh, a huh, bunch of special features. Next up for my uh, Nicolas Cage collection, 8mm, which stands for millimeter, so 8 millimeter. I've seen that one on uh, on VHS. Nicholas Cage collection again, uh, seeking justice with the slip cover. This one I haven't seen. I haven't seen this one. I had the opportunity to watch that on Netflix when I had Netflix, but I never did. Snake Eyes again, Nicholas Cage collection. I've seen this one. Um, about three times, give or take a view, but about three times. For my Val Kilmer collection, Columbus Day. I don't have a Val, Val Kilmer, I don't have a large Val Kilmer collection, but, but whatever. I got Columbus Day now. And again, for my Val Kilmer collection, Conspiracy with the slip cover. Yeah, I didn't know this one came with the slip cover. I knew about this movie. Well, I thought it came without the slipcover. I didn't even know. And for my Paul Walker collection, the Lazarus Project uh, slipcover. I like I like slipcovers. Um, the Brain Machine. Never heard of this movie before. I seen it real cheap on eBay. It was like uh, three and some change, free shipping. So I went ahead and purchased it. I mean, it's a cool cover. I like that cover. Nice cover. Darkest Night. There's three movies to this. This is actually a trilogy. This is part one in the trilogy. The hardest one to find is part three. That is ridiculous to try to find part three. I'd like to sit down and watch all three movies if I could, but I'm not going to do that. Part three is just too expensive. Here's a very good classic, Nosferatu. Obviously, black and white, uh, um, silent movie. You guys, if you like movies, you know about Nosferatu. Next up, The Cavern. Thank goodness I'm going fast. It's already past eight minutes. Next up, Hell's Gate, 11-11. Where's it called, 11-11, Hell's Gate? No, Hell, Hell's Gate 11, 11. Tell from the uh, spine. So this movie is supposed to be, um, it's low budget, obviously, but it's supposed to look for uh, the, the number 11 in the movie. It pops up in random places. Um, like, for instance, uh, maybe there will be two candles next to each other, and that's 11. You know, just look for stuff like that in the movie. It's like... It's neat looking for small puzzles like that in the movie. Next up, Scream at the Devil. Now that's a good cover. I like that cover. Yeah, I can't wait to watch this one. What's that say? Exorcism, Exorcism of the Mind. I like that cover a lot. Matter of fact, that's why I bought this. Just because I like the cover. Two more to show. Devils do. Don't know much about it, really. And this one, nothing left to fear. And this one, I think it was directed or produced by Slash from Guns. Is it Guns N' Roses? I think it's Guns N' Roses, right? Slash, as it says up here. But uh, what's it say down here? Let let us pray. And down here, inspired by the legend of Stahl, Kansas. 
here's the back of that. Actually, this looks pretty good. I'll give this a, I'll give this a try just because of Slash. Just because of Slash. And that is, a, that is it, all 35, I think I said. I passed 10 minutes. Thanks for watching, guys.